Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful official channel. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The bold and the beautiful recap for Thursday, September 5, 2024, is finally here. In today's episode, John Finn Finnegan saved Steffi Forrester Finnegan. Luna Nozawa was detained. Plus, Bill Spencer told Penelope Poppy Nozawa that she was a free woman. B&B recap for Thursday, September 5 shows Steffi assures Finn she's okay now. Finn attempts opening the cage, but it's padlocked. Finn wants to get Steffi to a hospital. Lee Finnegan asks Luna where she thinks she's heading. Lee's gasping and puffing, she's out of breath from pursuing Luna. Lee can't believe that Trudy was Luna, Finn was right. Lee brings up the old Giardino killings and Steffi in a cage. Luna tries pushing past Lee, but she doesn't let her. Lee informs Luna she is going to prison. Katie Logan swings by to see Bill. Bill and Will Spencer talk this morning. Bill says despite the paternity test, he thinks maybe Luna and Will may have some type of relationship. Bill calls Luna a special girl as Katie's lips tighten. Katie brings up Poppy's sins. Bill is bouncing back to thinking Poppy isn't capable of murder. Make up your mind, Bill. Katie labels Luna's mother a violent maniac. Bill isn't convinced and he's scared Poppy is innocent. None of this is fair to Luna. Bill shouts. Lay can't believe Luna is doing this to Poppy. Luna doesn't understand why Lai cares. Lei hates Poppy. Lee denies hating her sister. Lee argues it's disapproval, not hate. Luna believes Poppy is a nasty person and has no concept what she went through with a mother like her. Luna says Poppy was usually on drugs and bringing random men home. Luna believes Poppy never cared about her needs or how she could construct a future. Luna claims she finally received the security she's been yearning her whole life. Lee scoffs as she asks, Bill Spencer. Luna claims Bill was going to give her everything she's ever desired, and nothing's standing in the way of that. Luna orders Lee to get out of her way. Lee gets nose to nose with Luna and vehemently shouts, N.O. Finn is anxious about how long Steffi has gone without food and water. Finn looks for something, then offers Steffi a bottle of water. Maybe he should have braved tap water. Steffi gulps it. Steffi starts gasping and informs Finn that Luna has the key. Steffi guzzles the last of the water. Finn travels to find Luna and acquire the key. Finn pledges to be back shortly. Bill informs Katie that Luna sees him differently now. Bill says it's hard to explain because the mood isn't the same. Justin Barber phones Bill. After Bill hangs up, he tells Katie that Poppy is innocent. Katie is bewildered. The bold and the beautiful recap for Thursday, September 5, reveals Luna is angry that suddenly, Lai wants to do the right thing. Luna shoves Lee forcefully. It leads the doctor to almost lose her equilibrium. However, Lee regains her footing. Luna slams Lee for not stepping in when she was younger. Lee doesn't know what Luna means. Luna adds that Lai was so consumed with her wrath about Poppy, she didn't even see the small child at all. Luna cries as she tells Lee that she's always been jealous of the family Finn had. Lee says she offered Poppy guidance, but it was always rejected. Lee believes that at a certain point, she had to just walk away. Luna claims she just did what she had to do. Luna talks about the paternity test and that loser of a biological father. Luna says that Tom Starr could not even be her real dad because there are so many candidates. Lai wonders why kill Tom then. Luna explains that Tom was convinced he was her daddy. Luna talks about Tom's annoying letters. Luna says Paul Hollis Hollister was a sweetheart, but she had to kill him because he found the letters. Lai grimaces as she replies, and I thought your mother made poor choices. The... Lee believes Poppy could be a train wreck, but she's no killer or kidnapper. Lei questions how Luna could do that to her cousin's wife. To the mother of Lee's grandbabies. Luna knows time is running out. Luna urges Lee to get out of her way, and she charges. Lee blocks Luna with her arm and takes her down in one sweep. Woohoo! Go, Lee! 
As Luna's back hits the concrete floor, Lee presses her hard to the ground while yelling, No saw power. Luna seems out of it, but not unconscious. The officers walk in. Lee tells Deputy Chief Bradley Baker, There's your murderer. Katie suggests Justin has inaccurate information. Katie is confused. If Poppy didn't kill them, then who did? Bill doesn't know, but he is going to tell Poppy the news himself. Baker that Poppy Katie is innocent. Baker claims he knows. Finn contacted him and told him everything. Luna is arrested. Lai sneers at her niece and labels her Luna Nose Lai, making it obvious she will never have any part of the Spencer family again. There's a noise. Steffi is sluggish and asks who's there. It's Finn. Finn cracks the latch and opens the cage. Finn runs in and embraces Steffi. As Steffi clutches onto Finn, he holds her close and drags her out of the cage. Dramatic music plays as Steffi sobs in Finn's arms. This is the thing soaps were meant for, y'all. Bill enters inside the visitor's room to see Poppy. Bill tells Poppy about Justin's intel. Bill confirmed its veracity on his route to the jail. Bill reports the real killer has been arrested and Poppy is free to go. Poppy can't believe it. Poppy sobs happy tears and turns around in shock. Poppy can barely talk and is so overwhelmed with delight. Bill argues that he knew Poppy wasn't capable of violence. Poppy wants to know who truly perpetrated the murders. Baker goes in and an officer brings Luna in handcuffs into the visitor's room. Poppy doesn't see the handcuffs. Poppy tells Luna that they caught the true killer and she's going home. Luna doesn't grin or say anything. Poppy doesn't comprehend. Bill watches at Luna, waiting for her to tell Poppy the truth. At the cliff house, Finn carries Steffi in. Finn wants Steffi to go to the hospital. Steffi refuses, she already given a statement to the police. Steffi wants to see her kids. Finn planned for kids to come later. Just now, Steffi needs to rest. Steffi agrees that she's not physically or mentally ready yet. Steffi wasn't sure she was ever going to see her family again. Steffi cries as she talks about how their bond allowed her to survive that tragedy. Good thing Finn doesn't always do what he's instructed or Steffi wouldn't be alive right now. The Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers for Friday, September 6, 2024, are in. In tomorrow's episode, John Finn Finnegan and Steffi Forrester Finnegan bond after coming home from the cage. Meanwhile, Pana Poppy Nozawa discovers the heartbreaking truth about her daughter. Keep reading to find out what is coming up in the next episode of the CBS soap opera. B&B spoilers for Friday, September 6, reveal that Bill and Poppy will still be at the jail. Bill just told Poppy that the cops arrested the true killer and she is going home. Poppy was elated and in disbelief. However, Poppy wanted to know who really killed Tom Starr and Paul Hollis Hollister. Bill was silent and probably already knows. In fact, Bill verified the information that Justin Barber told him. Luna almost got away with her misdeeds. Even Lee Finnegan, Naomi Matsuda, was dissatisfied with Luna's conduct. Luna not only killed Tom and Hollis, but stuffed Steffi in a cage while attempting to keep her drugged. Thankfully, Lee didn't let Luna get away. Luna bolted, but Lai hunted her niece until she was imprisoned in the boiler chamber. Then, as Luna shoved Lee, the excellent doctor took her down with one rapid bend of her arm. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for Friday, September 6 state that Luna was escorted into the visitor's room at the jail in handcuffs. Poppy didn't see the handcuffs, but believed Luna was there with Bill to bring her home. As Bill, Poppy, and Baker wait, Luna will have to admit to her mother what she done. Poppy will be devastated and possibly bewildered. Even though Poppy is free now, it will be bittersweet. Exactly how does one get past their own child framing them for double murder? In Friday's episode, audiences will also see Finn and Steffi reconnect. Finn didn't obey Steffi's commands, which she will be thankful for now. If Finn had listened to Steffi, she wouldn't be home right now. While Steffi and Finn reconnect, how do they digest everything that's happened? Steffi is right, one killer-in-law is enough, but two. 
that would be a lot for any marriage to survive, so stay tuned. Bah. Thanks for watching, everyone. What do you think will happen next? We love hearing from you.